sometimes it's better to beg for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. And these Longhorns are gonna get a facelift. All of them. Not you, baby. Not you. You can watch, but I promise I'm I love this view. I love it with all my heart. It is a majestic sight, especially with these beauties back here. But it needs something. Just a, just a little, just a little smidge of something. And my little inner creative Jamie is screaming to make a change. So I'm doing this and I'm not telling Luster and I'm not gonna say a word to see if he notices or maybe he'll notice the video, but we'll see how long it takes. So when we had this gate made, I had ordered these really cute hat hanger long horns. I actually think they're drawer pulls, but Lester came and got them and was like, yeah, these need to go onto the gate. So we had them welded onto the gate. Then he had them welded onto the side gates and well, now his hats, <laughs> they, they just sit around here. It's fine. We didn't need to hang those anyway. Hi, baby. You want to come see what mom's doing? I love you. Are you finding good things to eat? Hi, Bev. Hi, everyone. Oh, goodness. So, in saying so, I want to point out that there are some other longhorns that were placed on here, but they're very flat. And of course there's dirt on them as well from rain bouncing up. And then we have the longhorn in the middle, which is very delicate, by the way. This has the capabilities so much to be broken off and I'm terrified, terrified that that's gonna happen. But, but I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to tell you what I'm about to do. Don't worry. I think it's gonna be beautiful. And if it's not beautiful, I can go ahead and paint it black all over again. I ordered this paint and I have kept it a secret from Lester Morrow. And today is the day I'm gonna take copper paint. It's hammered copper, so it, it looks a little, it's not like big old shiny anything. And these Longhorns are gonna get a facelift. All of them. Not you, baby. Not you. You can watch, but I promise I'm not going to paint you. <laughs> All right, let's get this party bus rolling. This color is going to be awesome. I can get real fancy and paint our actual longhorns on it, but that might be for a later date. Let's see if he notices this first. I'm gonna take a couple coats. I did wipe this down and then run a very light grit sandpaper over top of it to rough it up, but it's actually adapting very well. Okay, I've only done a little bit, but before, after. Tacky, not good. I just think you can see that they're actually longhorns now because you can't really see unless you really know. And I think, I think I like it. Dixie, what do you think, baby? She doesn't, she's like, I don't care, mom. It doesn't affect me. They're not horses. Well, baby, maybe on the other gate, we'll put some horses, okay? Maybe. Jolene. One day, you're gonna match these pretty longhorns. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Uh oh, Tex is babysitting. Be a good girl for daddy. Okay, this is what it looks like from a distance. Subtle changes, start small, okay? Next up, do I do the middle? Or are those on the bottom? Well, Maggie's come down to help, and as you can see, I've wiped off the dirt off the bottom rail there, 
and I got one coat on one of the longhorns on each side. I wasn't sure if it's gonna be like over the top to do all 10, cause there's 10 longhorns right there. But the more that I look at it, I think it's gonna actually, I think it's gonna class it up. I'm still torn about doing the middle. Maggie, what do you think? Maggie, what do you think about the middle? Do you like the idea? Okay. I'm sorry it's so hot, it's very hot. It's sweaty and hot and this is the only time that I can do the project whenever Lester is you know, busy doing other things. So that way he won't notice Maggie, he's not gonna know. He thinks that I'm out in the woods right now making videos. Little does he know that I got secrets too, Maggie. The challenge here is that this ledge, like this ledge is probably about a quarter of an inch and it has some dust on it that I cannot get off with my rag. So I'm painting it, but there's still dust there. The only thing I can say is that even if I go and like legitimately scrub it out with a scrub brush and all that, there's still gonna be dirt there tomorrow. So I am taking a little bit of a lazy path on this first little attempt here. I wanna know what it's gonna look like because if I'm gonna go through the whole like scrub it and go all the way up to the edge and be real intricate here then I at least <laughs> I want to make sure it's what I want to do first because if I'm just going to go back over it with black and I hate it like this then well no arm no foul do you notice that that hammered look that dotting is not the way I'm painting it that's the actual texture of the paint which is really cool and I don't understand how they can do that but I like it so when we were little, my mom moved into a house right after my parents got divorced. And the walls were like a burnt orange, which is funny, this is copper and it kind of reminds me that on the first coat. And she wanted to paint them like a seafoam green. In fact, that was the exact name of the paint. So, it was like a family affair. My grandparents, my aunt, my uncle, everybody was over painting the walls in this house. So, <laughs> it gets all painted, it looks beautiful. We come home from our dad's for the weekend and we look at it and my mom notices that it's blistered. Yeah, blistered, like bubbling up, blistered. And <clears throat> I was little, like eight, nine years old and I remember her freaking out about it and I was thinking like, what's the big deal? Like, it's just blistering. Well, that paint blistered and blistered and finally we peeled it like a sunscreen for like a month straight. We were peeling this paint off. I don't even know what kind of paint that that was and what went on top of it. I'm pretty sure it probably had lead in it and well, somehow we're still alive. But as I'm painting this and I see like the texture come up, the little, I realize that these bubbles are meant to be there. This is not my doing. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of that and that moment. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I just realized that that's probably what's, probably the root of all my problems. So thanks mom. Thanks for the lead paint poisoning. <laughs> I don't think we ate any though. So we're probably gonna be fine. I mean, I've lived this long, so it's all good. Yeah, that looks really, it's good. we got a lot more work to do. <laughs> well, look who came up to see themselves, basically. They wanna know if the Longhorns truly represent the Longhorns. Aw, Jolene, it looks just like you. I promise you. All right, Maggie, you ready to show them? Ta-da. I realize that it's almost dark. And I realize <laughs> that this needs one more coat in the middle. It's still drying, but isn't it pretty? It matches the wood tones. It brings the black together. It really brings the signage together. It defines the longhorns on the bottom and the top. And yes, friends, I love it. Now, Wonder how long it's gonna take before he notices. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a while. Don't worry, Maggie. We know what we did. Okay, 
I have to admit, I had leftover paint and I guess I'm like a beautician or a barber who can't stop cutting. This old gray mailbox, which came from I'm a Survivor, was gray and it was the only thing that was gray. Look, this actually was our chicken coop uh, nesting box for a long time and it was this color. Look at it being all matchy matchy. Yep, little paint helps all the time. Now, see how long it takes for Lester to notice that. Did y'all come up to see my work? You wanna know who the Longhorn was really made after, don't you? Well, let's see here. I don't think it's Jolene. Don't worry, baby, one day, one day. Gracie, it doesn't match yours either. I'm sorry, love. Certainly not Rip, but I will say, there is a strong argument for if it is. Guys, stop being weird. Look here, let me see. Could be Santiana's horns, but it's more than likely a replica of Texas horns. We'll just go with it, that was for everyone. Why, Kitty? You came out to see me and check on me? That is so sweet of you. Hi, baby. Don't mess up my paint. I love you. Thank you.